Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now, like everyone, I've had a lot of time on my hands recently. So I've been consuming a lot of media, and I've needed a way of getting all this media in one place, so it's easy to access. Now I've found that Plex is the solution to this, and the great news is Plex comes pre-installed on your Hisense TV, and it's surprisingly easy to set up. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up on your Hisense TV. Plex is a great way to store all your movies, shows and other media in one place and make it accessible from any device. Now, you might be asking, how does all this work? The Plex model is simple. You put all your media on a single computer with the Plex server installed on it. And then you install the Plex software on all the devices you want to play your media on. So, the first thing you want to do is download and install the Plex server software onto your computer where you're going to be storing all your media. All links for downloads are in the description below. As you can see, the Plex software is available for almost any device you can think of. Now I'm using my Mac as the media server, so I'm going for the Mac version. Now once you've downloaded and installed the Plex server, you should get a little icon in your status bar. Just scroll down and click on Open Plex. First thing you'll be asked to do is log in or create an account. Now I've already got a Plex account, so I'm going to log in with my Google details. So it's a pretty smooth process so far. OK, we've got a quick splash screen of how it all works. OK, so the paid version is called Plex Pass and you get the following added benefits. Now the Plex software automatically detects your computer as your Plex server, and you can choose a name for it here. Now in the next step, you need to create your folder structure. So these are the folders you're gonna place your media. This is your music, your video, photos. Now I suggest creating a media folder with each of the subfolders below it. Once your folder is created, you need to point it to where the media is located on your hard drive. And that's it, you just click on add library. And now you can add more libraries or you can just click on next. So all that remains now is to install Plex software onto the media device you're going to be using to view the content. And in our case, it's our Hisense TV, which of course comes pre-installed with the Plex software. Now, once you get to this stage, you get to cherry pick what you want to be served up on your Plex server and thereby on your Plex apps on your devices. So obviously you'll choose your own media library, but Plex also offers other media like web shows, news, music, and podcasts. So you can search for what you want and add it and, as an example, I'm going to choose a Casey Neistat podcast. And really guys, it's as simple as that to add your media. Now, back on our Hisense TV, you'll find the Plex software pre-installed. So, click on your home button on your remote control and select apps. And scroll down until you see Plex and select it. Now, the first thing you need to do is log into your Plex account that you created earlier. Now, once you log in, you'll be presented with a code. Now you need to input this code at the website link they provide, so that the account may be linked. And that's it guys, you're into your personal media server, and you can just sit back and relax and enjoy. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, and maybe even a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.